Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Las Vegas Marijuana Experience. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about hash. But before we get started, I want to take a hit of this Desert Unicorn flower I just picked up. Desert Unicorn is a cross of Durban Poison and Venom OG. I've actually been smoking on this most of the day already. It's really good. But I want to smoke some more before we start. If you've got some weed on you, you should fire that up too. Let's have ourselves a little mini smoke session here. Man, that's tasty. It's got a lot of uh, B. carophylline uh, terpene in it. It's got almost 12 milligrams per gram in here. You can really taste it. It gives it kind of like an earthy, peppery taste. Mmm. Man, that's tasty. I love a good sativa. Especially in the daytime. I don't smoke many indicas. You know, every once in a while at night, I'll smoke some indica. <coughs> but mainly, I am into the sativas. So, let me uh, get this out of the way here for a second. <coughs> Woo. My goodness, I am pretty baked. And let's dive into what we are here to talk about today, which is hash. Man, I'm an old school smoker, right? And I love some old school bubble hash, Afghani hash, whatever you want to call it which is uh, hard to find in dispensaries these days, at least out here in Nevada. Um, I don't know about Colorado. I haven't been out there for a little while, but I didn't see it much when I was there either. Now, the main reason that that is, is because all of the more popular concentrates people have right now, which are your shatters and your butters and your waxes uh, and your live resins, etc., which all tend to be a little bit more potent than hash does. However, most of those also come with an extraction method that can tend to leave possible contaminants inside it, uh, namely butane and propane. Although you can do uh, CO2 extraction, which people at OMG THC do. Uh, if you'll notice, I've been reviewing a lot of their products lately. I really like this company, and that's why I'm out here talking about them. Um, you know, on this channel, I try to bring you all the best shit that I find here in Vegas. And sometimes I talk about some of the worst shit I found here in Vegas. Because uh, people need to know that too. But this is some bubble hash. Now, I meant to save more for this video, honestly. But it's so good. Uh, I did this. I have another podcast. And over the weekend, we were smoking some of this hash before. And we just went to town a little bit. But I did save some here. Now... This is really tiny. I'm going to put a different uh, picture up on your screen. should be showing up right now. Well, you can find this in the stores. It's going to be in uh, this package here, which yeah, you should be able to see it better with that. Bubble hash, this Afghani hash, is typically a dark brown ball. All right. It is a solventless extraction THC concentrate that has been around literally since the first cannabis has been around. I mean, we're talking thousands of years here. And... This was made with an ice water extraction. Now, I'm not going to dive into the different ways to make hash, but in, in real simple layman's terms, they're basically taking ice water and weed, and they're agitating the water, uh, and it pulls off the THC crystals, and it goes through a series of micron screens until all that's really left is this, this, uh, this brownish substance that's then dried out, rolled into these beautiful little uh, balls, usually. These come in half gram. Uh, jars, jars be about this big. Right now, it seems there's three dispensaries here in Vegas that carry this product. And as far as I've been able to find it, folks, OMG is the only company making hash out here right now. They have another hash, which I'm going to review in another video. It's under a different <clears throat> brand name. It's under EPC, which is Experience Fine, or Experience Premium Cannabis. It's the same parent company as OMG. But uh, they make a Temple Ball hash that I'm hoping to review here as well. It's a little hard to find. These are very rare. But if you're into old school smoking, I swear to God, if you like concentrates at all, you got to try some hash. you got to try the bubble hash. Man. So it's typically a dark brown. And when you slice bubble hash open, it's usually going to be a lighter brown on the inside. Now, this is labeled Afghani hash. So I'll just keep calling it that. Now, we're going to smoke some here. There's a few different ways you can smoke hash. Now, the best thing that I like to do 
is this is very pliable, okay? It doesn't stick to your fingers really, and you can kind of move this around like a putty, okay? And you can get some, and you can roll it on the table. Let me see, go back, you can see. You just kind of roll it like this, okay? And it's going to turn into a little tube. You can see it's starting right here, okay? You can take this tube and make it as long as you want. You want to make a very nice, thin, long one, and you can stick that sucker inside a joint. And that is one of my favorite ways that you can smoke some hash. Uh, when I was younger, man, back in the day when I first started smoking weed and you'd have to get some hash, man, the, the only way you could really do it if you didn't want to stick it on a bowl, which doesn't always work the greatest, was to use the hot knife technique. Yeah, that's how long I've been smoking. I've taken hash hits back in the day off two hot knives. And if you don't know what that is, you literally, you would take a knife, like a butter knife, you take two of them and you'd stick them in like your old school coil stove top, right? And you'd heat them fuckers up until they were red hot. And you'd get a straw and you would drop your ball of hash on one knife and you'd take the other knife and you'd mash it together and pew, shit would vaporize right up and then you'd suck it in with the straw which usually meant you'd get a whole lot of air in there as well. And, uh, and oh my Lord, it was pretty harsh. But that's what we had to do back in the day. I remember one time, I'll tell you a story. <laughs> one time I was in my kitchen. I was like 19, 20 years old. I did a huge, fat, fat, fat knife hit. Right? And I thought I would uh, hold the smoke in, turn around and walk back in front of my friends, you know? <laughs> yeah, I made it about three steps past stone cold out, then woke up on the floor with everybody standing over me. It was pretty funny. Everybody got a, a big laugh out of that. But other ways you can smoke hash, you can, uh, you can sprinkle it over a bowl, you can mix it into the center of a bowl, like, like you could pack it into the middle of a bowl on your bong. You could kind of melt it over the top. Um, depending on the quality, you can dab it. That doesn't always work so good. If it's a full melt hash, you can dab it. What I like to do, is you, if you watch this channel at all, you'll recognize this little puppy. This is my E-Leaf iStick 40 watt battery here. And normally I've got something like this on here, which is a full spectrum cannabis oil, also by OMG THC. This is another type of atomizer run it forward a little bit unfortunately i was going to post links to where you could get one of these turns out the company seems to have gone out of business which sucks because i like this thing but this is a high powered atomizer that you can drop uh you can drop all kinds of stuff in here this little cap comes off it's got the coil a little deep down in there it's got a hole up top in the cap it's got adjustable airflow right here so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a razor blade here and i'm going to shave off a nice little piece of this hash Right. I'm going to squish it into kind of like a little disc here on my thumb. You can see it out a little bit. I'm going to drop it in here on this coil. Boom. Cap goes on. Now when I'm vaping a cannabis oil like this, we're talking about like 6 watts, which is right around 3 volts. This i got to crank all the way up a bit here. We're going to crank this sucker up to 17 watts which is 5.4 volts okay so we're just gonna vaporize that hash and i've also got this which it's a little dirty but i can't really clean it right now it's a little dirty because we were smoking some hash out of it like i mentioned on, a, a, on my other podcast there's a little bit of water in here all right and this looks so funky here because i've broke this twice and i had to gorilla glue it uh this little sucker was 80 dollars, and then i broke it the first day i got it had to order another one, so I got 160 bucks invested in this stupid thing, and then I broke it again, so you can see why I glued it. And now I find out the company that makes both of these is out of business, so that's a bit of a bummer. But you can see it fits right onto uh, my battery here. So the smoke's going to come out of here, down here, into the water, and up through here, which is pretty cool, man. I'm, I'm sorry I can't uh, show you where to get one of these, but I'm going to keep my eyes open for something similar. So... If, again, you got some weed, you should hit it. I'm going to hit this hash real quick. And that tastes really good. Ooh. 
<coughs> this is Burkle, the strain. Burkle's an indica. <coughs> now, you want to know how I broke this thing real quick? You can see as a stoner, you want to like leave this standing here like that, right? Seems like a nice thing to do is it gets a little, little unbalanced. Sucker falls over. I got granite countertops and that's how that happens. So now I always take it off, leave it like that. Oh man, that's really good. But see with a vaporizer like this and an atomizer like this, this little attachment, you can get nice, nice, smooth, concentrated. It's like I can drop shatter in here. I can drop any other kind of concentrate in this little puppy into this particular uh, atomizer and it's good to go. Uh, unfortunately, this coil is going to burn out at some point and I'm going to need to figure out something to do. But that is another video, right? So what other ways can you smoke hash? That's really about it. You need, um, even if you've got an old school pipe and a screen, you can do it that way. Um, as long as you you don't want to melt it too hard into a screen because it's, it's just going to melt through. So a lot of times back in the day, we used to take a little uh, a little ash and put it in the bottom of a screen, right? And then you put the hash on top of the ash, so then it doesn't melt through so easily. But the best way, if you're coming out here to visit and you're a tourist, you know, you're coming out here, the best thing you can do, man, is just, uh, just get yourself some, uh, just get a joint, get yourself some papers, roll a joint. If you don't know how to roll very well, they sell uh, they sell cones now. It's like a it's like a paper that's already in the cone shape with the filter on the end, and you can just pack the herb in it and just pour it right in. It's it's like it's super easy. You don't even have to have rolling skills anymore in 2018, 2019. But otherwise, man, just roll it up, roll it out on a piece of paper on on your table, and just get it real thin, size of the joint, and that's the perfect way to enjoy uh, some old school hash out here. Uh, right now, as of this video, there's about three different stores that have this. Uh, I'll put them on the screen. Uh, but it is Shango. It is uh, Thrive Downtown. And I've been told by the manufacturer, by OMG, that it's also at Nevada Wellness Center. But I've been unable to confirm that. Right now, the pricing, you're looking at anywhere from... $41 for a half gram before tax up to, I've seen it, Shango, I think, was about $60. Hopefully, those prices will come down. And as OMG uh, is spreading out a little bit, you should be able to find that in other uh, dispensaries on your way out here. Obviously, you can give dispensaries a call, or if you want to, you can hit me up in the comments. Um, I'm hoping to remain in contact with this company. I really like their products. I'm going to be reviewing other stuff that they make. So I can't answer comments, obviously, right away, uh, but in most of the time, a day, two at the most, I try to answer everything. You can also hit me up on Instagram, but the truth is I can't answer DMs on Instagram, and I, I can't get to the comments on Instagram. Strangely enough, it might sound as fast as I can on YouTube right here. So uh, I'm going to take another hit of this hash. And that's got really good flavor. Burkle is a cross of, uh, what is it? It's uh, blueberry and uh, granddaddy perps. Some people think it's not, it's blueberry and purple Urkel because of the name, but all the research I've done is it's blueberry and granddaddy perps. And uh, it's, it's got that nice berry flavor. And you can actually taste that in the hash here. That's the cool thing I like about hash is um, like the terpene profile. Like what do we got here? On the back of here, it's got uh, linalool at 3.61 milligrams, b carophyllene at 3, and uh, a terpene I'm not really that familiar with, nerolidol, Nero, nerolidol, I don't know, I've never, read, I've never pronounced that one before. But it's, it's got strong flavors here and a very mild taste, and it's stony. Okay, the THC content in this is 50.133%. Which I know if you're used to shatters and distillates, you're like, oh, that's bunk, that's bullshit. I, I smoke 90% distillate. I do too, honestly. But this is different, man. I don't know. 
I like this better. The, the profile, it's similar to a full spectrum oil in the fact you're getting a lot of different cannabinoids in here and you're getting the natural terpene profiles that are, that are in it with nothing added to it. I like that a lot. And I mean, love and care goes into making hash. Hash is not easy to make. Well, it's both easy and difficult. Like you can make hash at home if you go and buy yourself some, uh, some bubble hash bags and you got a washing machine for the most part. Um, but it's also difficult because it's, it's just labor intensive. You know, it requires, I mean, all these, all these little nugs, I've been to their production facility, all these little balls are, they're hand rolled by their team. Like these people care about what they're doing. And so, yeah, it's not cheap. And I hope in the future in 2019 and beyond, as we get more, uh, dispensaries opening up here, I'm, I'm hoping that the dispensaries themselves can lower some of their pricing down and make things a little bit more reasonable for us, the end user. And I know, I know some of you disagree with that in the comments. And the, and the reason I keep bringing that up is here is I, I'm not just talking out of my ass. I've seen it happen in another state. You know, this is what happened in Denver. Um, and then I realize Vegas is a much bigger tourist market than Denver. We get, you know, last year we got like 42 million tourists here in Vegas. It's the number one spot in the world. But on the flip side to that, Denver got like 17 million tourists in 2018. Like they're well known for their cannabis as well. It's a, it's a big deal out there. And right now, like the price difference is here. Like what costs 60 bucks here for an eighth of weed in a store you can get for $20 in Denver all over the place. And I think that as more stores open here in 2019, hopefully by the time you're watching this video, some of these prices will have come down. But honestly, it, you can pay that price for any other type of concentrate that you're getting. You should check out the hash. Hash is old school, man. You're talking cannabis history right here. It's fun. It's really, 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 really good. Like this, if it's made by OMG, I can promise you that it's good. And if you somehow think different, man, let me know because I would love to hear it because I've tried a lot of their products now. I have tried six or seven of their full spectrum oils. I've tried two different strains. I had this Burkle here and I also had a half a gram of AK-47, which is, man, I love that strain. I like it because they, 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 they're they making some uh, less common strains into some hash. I like that too. Um I've tried their tinctures. I've tried some of their edibles. They they sell edibles under the brand Sin City Edibles. All their shit is fucking dope. All their shit is really good. So I fully recommend it. This is an unpaid endorsement. They're not paying me any money to put this little video out and tell you about it. It's just I'm here on the scene in Vegas spending my own cash in these stores. This is good shit right here. I'm going to take another one of these hits. I'm getting pretty stoned. You can probably tell I'm starting to ramble. And that's killer. I'm about to find a new solution here for this uh, this this uh, atomizer. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna put the rest of this away before I lose it. So easy to lose once you get high with these tiny little things. All right, everybody, that's it for the video. If you got questions about hash, you got questions about OMG THC, where to find it, let me know. Otherwise, do check the dispensaries that I've listed on the video here. And uh, as I find out more, I'll put more in there. I'm going to get back to hitting this stuff.